it, guys. I guess you know who I am. Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. Daryl Addison, TorpedoPot.com. And you're looking at our, our chives. We've, uh, these are torpedo pots. They're self-growing flower pots. They grow your food for you with no human intervention. We've been able to grow probably about five, five pounds, from three to five pounds of chives coming from off of this planter. I'm thinking that's what you can do, three to five pounds of chives. Um, what I do is that I cut them down and they grow back. I cut them down and they grow back. I cut them down and grow back. So I always have some form of onion, garlic in my meal. Some form of it. It could be just small amounts, but I know that I get nutrition from it. And um, it holds very well. Just like you buy chives in a container. So I'm going to cut off the chives that are here. We're going to weigh it and see what it weighs in. Um, now, the first thing I do with these self-growing planters, because they grow your food, is don't be like me. Take care of your planter. Because you got hundreds, if not thousands, of plants in one small area. And that's what the torpedo pot does. It allows you to grow your food like you've never seen before. You can condense a lot more food in a smaller area. And based upon that scenario, you can create a, a huge benefit for yourself. You can get a lot of food. So I'm, I'm going to move in right now and I'm going to do my harvest. I promise you that I see a couple of weeds that are in here that I got to pull out. I want to pull these weeds out of here to make sure I don't harvest them because I don't want them. The weeds are there probably because I've neglected the planter, but um, it's going towards right now with all the food that is produced with these torpedo pots. I'm so excited that it is not even spoiling. I'm picking off all what I would call dead and if I let them stay on, they'll get thick like these right here. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I want them to get thick like that because I want to do a multiple harvest. I want those little, little tiny, tiny little bulbs on them. Absolutely beautiful. So what we're going to do is that flavor is so genuine. I don't think you can find this in the supermarket. This is absolutely stunning. This is really, really good. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. I get to have that flavor. But uh, I'm going to pull out some of the what I think are weeds in this thing that have grown among the, uh, the good stuff. I'm going to pull them out of here, make sure I don't confuse them at all with my food and what I planted, and then I can proceed cutting down. But that, I have not, uh, these are torpedo pots, they're self-growing planters. They grow your food for you without you having to be there. So all I did was to go to my store, buy my seedlings from my store, put them in my planter, turn my planter on and let it run throughout the year. I've only fertilized this maybe twice, at most three times this year, with organic fertilizer, organic now. It's been taken off on its own. I have nothing to do with it. All I do is come back and shave it down and glean all the food off of it. Torpedo Pie does a great job in growing your food without any human intervention, and this is so good. Mm. I don't no, I shouldn't do that, but it's so tasty. All right, now, I'm going to cut them down. You should never use, try to use fabric containers instead of these plastic ones, okay? The fabric containers allows your plant to breathe. It needs to breathe. These uh, plastic containers construct all of that, um, evaporation is taking place and it creates a human atmosphere which can cause your plants to poison so don't try not to use plastic bags but for purposes I want to show you what, what we do here so I'm going to go through 
I'm gonna find a way to cut this up here. I, I'm telling you, this is not easy at all. I, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing, but I'm gonna grab everybody a bunch, like I normally do, and I pull it out. And this is getting fresh. <laughs> now, you may say, Mr. Anderson, oh, you're cutting your plants. Oh, you have to go forage for food or whatever. Dude, the, the food that I'm getting in my hand is much more nutritious than the food that you're getting. The food that I'm getting will give me the strength to do the things that I want to do. And to cause me to think right and to understand. So Peter Pot grows food that changes the way we behave. Having organically grown food this close to my doorstep is like nothing else in the world. I mean, it reduces my tension because I know I have food there and I can grow and eat what I want to grow and what I want to eat. And I can do it in abundance and as little as I please. The Peter Pot gives me that ability to do all of those. So, and then I, I store it. And that would be one bunch. So that bunch I will use, and then I'll get another bunch. And these are all bunches. These would be my portions. These would be my portions. Now, if you see a little bit of brown, it's up to you, it's your choice. It doesn't affect me as much. What I'm worried about is any dead stuff. So as long as I don't see anything dead, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. This makes me feel really good. Portion number two. Portion number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That bulb is fabulous, isn't it? That is absolutely beautiful. Wow, I'm sorry you can't see it up close. Looks great. Eight. Okay. Whew. I don't think this harvest will ever come to an end. Nine. I don't know what that is in terms of pounds, but I'll weigh it and let you guys see it up close. But that is so beautiful. That is absolutely stunning. And so, back to this one. So what's good about this is that it grows back. Oh, I gotta cut this down a little bit more. It's still a little bit too high. Forgive me. I should have cut that down a little bit lower. Okay. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Looks a lot better. Okay. All right, so we've made about oh, 
maybe about three to four similar harvests like the one you've seen right now. I think this is the most we let them grow. Um, we've been trying to get in and I haven't been able to get into it. I haven't had a solution for handling so all of this food that we're getting. So I've been able to put it in the bag, at least for now. I'm gonna freeze it and um, have it do what it does. Darrell Addison to PeterPot.com. Darrell Addison to PeterPot.com, where we make self growing planters that grow your food for you with no human intervention. Right now, with all these cuttings, you'll see water come to the tips of these plants and then start the healing process. So they can start growing. All the sugars that are there will come out, and see, you'll see a lot of predators come out. They'll be looking for part of that sugar and everything else. So it's all cool. This is part of the growth that we're looking for. Nature comes back. Talk to you guys later. Let me show you what's last of this and you guys can make your own decision okay as stated this is what we're getting this is what we've harvested so far this so you probably get about from three to five pounds of garlic chives in your region and the thing about it is that they're so healthy and they're organic. Healthy and they're organic. Amazing, amazing. Let's take one out so you guys can see it up close. One bunch. Uh, let's try this bunch. Look at this, will you look at these plants? Tell me, is this not beautiful or, n or what? Is that not beautiful or what? That's healthy, beautiful chives. That, that is your medicine. Your food is your medicine. So Peter Pot grows food that provides medicine to your body so that you can eat. So getting healthy food will change a lot of our physical problems that we're having and impacting our mental problems, our mental state. So yeah, food is the place to go. Make change there, you'll change everything. Darrell Addison to PeterPot.com. Darrell Addison to PeterPot.com.